So that stopped recording on its own again, so I don't know what I was saying when it went off. It wouldn't have been for long. Um, yeah, so I've done behind all them. Like I said all the cars and stuff can be the same colour. But uh, yeah, I like it this time of night because it's really quiet when everybody's gone to bed. I'm probably going to watch okay, a couple of YouTube videos before I do go to bed. I've missed a bit more behind her here. That's okay. Mm, yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's really nice and quiet and they've all gone to bed and it's just me on my own. It's nice I can do stuff like this. So this is what we've done. Um, I will, like I said, I will finish this off before the end of the month so you will be able to see it um, in my wrap-up, my final completed pages for the year, which will be all of December stuff, which at the moment is seven. Hopefully it will be eight, nine, ten, maybe eleven. Might be more, depends on whether or not I get much chance to do anything. Don't forget, we're only on the 24th. We've still got a few days of the year to go, so. That's it for now. I just want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Have a lovely day with your friends, family, whoever you're spending the day with. If you're on your own, you know, just chill, relax, and just don't worry about it. Everybody... You know, not everybody's got somebody and that is a shame. But sometimes it's nice to be on your own. And I know there are a lot of people out there who don't really enjoy Christmas and just looking forward to having a day at home on their own. But Merry Christmas, everybody. I will see you all soon. Bye. Hi, everyone. It's Andrea. Welcome back to Andrea's Attic. This is an adult channel that focuses mostly on hobbies um, and things like that. Adult hobbies such as adult colouring, diamond painting. Photography and reading, we have colour and catch-ups and diamond chats and basically we talk about adult things. Um, so just putting this out there, if you are under the age of 18, you might want to click off now. Um, but let's get on with it. So I did ask if people would like to see Seasons or Hanalyn or Colour in Heaven. One person responded and said, let's see the Hanalyn book. So here it is. So we are going to colour in this one. So this one is the um, a Whimsy Girls Christmas. I'm doing the sort of Santa's Little Helper one. So let's just crack on. I started this last Christmas, I believe. And just never got around to finishing it. It is so very difficult sometimes, especially with a young child, to actually get in and colour for a properly and for significant time I mean so far this month I think I've done seven pages and most of those are just gel pen ones there's not a lot of pencil work and it's mostly because of the diamond painting that I've started I am doing a lot of that and I am enjoying it so so it is Christmas Eve how are you all are you looking forward to the big day tomorrow? Now, I know not everybody enjoys Christmas, and I do understand that. Um, I've, I've been lucky, I've always had good Christmases, I've got a great family, and of course now I've got my own little girl, who makes uh, everything even better. She and Paul are both in their beds. I, as usual, am staying up with two colour. Otherwise, we just don't get any done, do we? Let's be honest. So, excuse me, just knocking the camera. So, yeah, we are... Yeah. All ready for Christmas. All the presents are wrapped. They are not under the tree. They'll go under the tree before I go to bed. Um, because Jennifer now knows how to unwrap presents. So I didn't want her unwrapping everything before the day. So basically she can get up and wrap them. You will see unwrap them. You'll see see them her in the weekly vlog, I would imagine, doing it. We are doing a weekly vlog, although on Monday I did forget to start doing it first thing and then I did started it in so that's just a bit of a skin down here oh. so yeah it's 
uh, so Christmas Eve is my dad's birthday, so we've been down there to wish him happy birthday, give him his presents, and have dinner. Um, Jennifer went to nursery in her cute little outfit. So sweet she is. And now, she still doesn't know what it is. She still doesn't get Christmas. She doesn't understand. Not really. She, she likes the lights and she likes the chocolates on the trees and such things like that. But she doesn't really understand it all. So she's kind of like, probably just wondering what all the fuss is about. The best thing for her is the fact that mummy and daddy are going to be off work for three days. <laughs> and spending more time with her, that to her is probably the best part of it. So we've got Paul's mum coming around for Christmas lunch. And then after that, once my mum and dad have had their dinner, we go around there and have more presents. Because we'll do our presents when we get up. Because we want to see Jennifer's face and she can play with hers and then we and Paul do ours while she's well I'm pretty sure she'll want to want um unwrap hours as well because she kind of does now she knows what how to do it which is nice Ooh, right I think we'll have a nice purple purpley curtain over here I like a bit of purple just doing this bit over here now. I'll just uh, that's it. So I'm using my polychromos for this. So so I had a couple of sales on eBay recently. I posted, or I, I dispatched two on Monday the twenty third, and then I had somebody else make an offer which I accepted. And they haven't paid and then I had another sale on the 23rd which was for a Warhammer guide role playing game book I know if I dispatch stuff over Christmas it's not really going to go very far but at least I can mark it as dispatched on on the eBay account so <coughs> I really do like this book. There's some lovely pictures in this book. I've just got far too many Christmas books. I really have. And it just doesn't look like they're going down, I've got to be honest. The pile of books is huge. Obviously, I've got a pile of books of all the Christmas books. Stuff I haven't done, stuff I have done. You know, books I haven't coloured in, books I have coloured in. But of course, under that, I've got something like books that are new from this month, so the ones I'm going to be hauling at the end of the month. And I think there's like nine of those already. So. So because of that, the pile looks huge. So first day this week, I, I, I haven't listened to any records. I don't know, well, actually, I didn't do really listen to any on Monday either, but I do like to listen to my records because I need to uh, get them out of the way. Yeah. This isn't going to be a very long video. Ooh, 
not at all. Um, that's better. Oh, well that just broke, that's not very good. Uh, let me just go and find another sharpener and do it manually. Oh dear, sorry about that. Let's try again. Let's just do this manually. So. Lovely. Um, I'll just manually do these now. So I am still colouring. I've been colouring in one of the Colour in Heaven books tonight. Let's try and get that done. I, I mean, it's, it's one sort of really blank background. I'm not going to do the background because I'm colouring it with markers and it always looks streaky. So I'll just leave it blank as if it was like just snowy in the background. But. make this a bow purple as well. So. I'm hoping in the new year to really crack on with eBay. I keep saying I'm going to and then I never do it so I mean it is Christmas we want to take it a little bit easier don't we then but I really do need to crack on. with that because I, I mean I am still getting sales it's not like I'm not getting anything at all if I wasn't getting anything at all I'd be like mm. but because I am it's easy to say right okay I'm in profit I don't need to really worry too much we'll really start going for it in January and I will be I want to try and do some work in the lead up to January the 7th because like I said before my sales off until then, so. <coughs> Dear me. Now. Oh, I'm so tired. Like I said, it's not going to be a long video because I'm really, really tired. It's been a long day at work uh, and at home. Jennifer just wants to watch CBeebies all the time, so it's like, really? Bless. I'm just going to have a bit more green on this tree and darken it off a bit. I think sometimes we think we need to shade and blend all the time and sometimes there's just that whole thing of just colour for the sake of colouring. Because yes it's nice to make it look beautiful and blend but when it comes down to it it's supposed to be fun and it's supposed to be relaxing. I get bored going over and over stuff again and layering and blending too much so I want to do this because I want it a bit darker but uh, you know sometimes it, there is something to be said for just oops, excuse me straight colouring and there are other times you really do want to have a go on it so So we'll definitely put some glitter gel on here at some point once we've done all the pencil work. Um, yeah, um, we'll do some glitter gel on the baubles and on her hat. And stuff like that, because that's always nice. Make it look a bit better. And then... Uh, I mean, I'm not going to stop colouring just because Christmas is over. I'm just going to keep colouring in my Christmas books until we hit January the 1st. And then, obviously, January the 1st, we will film our completed pages and our December hauls. And you'll see those around the 1st. And then we'll decide what we're going to do. Now, John the Bibliophile Colourist is having a Hannah Lynn as his artist of the year, which I'm happy with because I love handling, it gives me an excuse to pick up all the rest of the books. Um, obviously I have got a few and one of the first ones I'm colouring in, in January, 
is Women to Girls at Work because I think it's a fantastic book. I absolutely love it. Um, so I can't actually wait to start in that book. <clears throat> so that is going to be one of the first pictures we do now. I don't, unfortunately, I don't have all the handling books. I've got three or four. Obviously, I've got this one. And uh, we do like this one, don't we? I do. I haven't done much in it. Um... Oh, I didn't do her ears. Oh dear. And I've missed one of her green things. You notice things after a while. I'm With the hair, I'm just doing it a little bit because I put lots of different colours, browns and yellows in it to make it look nice. Um, let me just do her ears. I always forget that they're Elves, so they've got funny ears, which of course would still be ear coloured, like that, that's better. But yeah, I mean I love these books, the Hannah Lynn ones are fantastic, her artwork is amazing. Um, I know that if you're a member of her Facebook page, she's given away again this year. She does it every year, I think every year. I'm sure I've downloaded them before. Some free colouring pages, a PDF of free colouring pages, which I think is always nice because it's nice to either redo one or print one off. I know I've printed some off and I've done some of them, or at least one of them. And obviously you will be seeing that in our yearly, uh, uh, well, our January, one of our January videos, which is everything I've ever coloured. So we're going to do that. As you know, I mean, I've mentioned this many times before. Everything I've ever coloured and everything, all my colouring book collections, my whole colouring book collection. So, I mean, it'll take me a while to film. And I may have to film it. I might do it in instalments. I don't know. I might just do it in one. Do you, would you like it, you know, to have... It'll be two videos. One for the colouring book collection and one for the everything I've ever coloured. What I was wondering is, do you want to have one long video of the colouring book collection? Um, and one long everything I've ever coloured? Or would you like me to split it up and do it in parts? So would you like, you know, part, like 20 minute videos, several 20 minute videos, or would you like, like one really long video? I don't mind either way, it's fine with me. It's up to you. you. You're the ones who have to sit through it all. So let me know. I know some people like the longer videos and I know some people prefer the shorter ones. So just let me know what you would prefer. Um, and if I get enough votes, I'll uh, go with what you think. If I only get one or two, I'll do what I think. At the moment, I am actually leaning towards just one long video each, which it's, you know, you could say it's a game of two halves. If I did separate videos, it's more content. It gives me more to do, because I still probably film it all in one go. And But... We've been going almost 20 minutes, I think. In this little bit here, a little bit of extra brown in there. We'll use this one. It's terrible. I keep missing these little stripey bits here. So yeah, just let me know. 
Do you want one long video or do you want lots of short videos? Entirely up to you. If I don't get, like I said, if I don't get many votes, I'll probably just do them as one long, even though that means it's one video instead of potentially four or five. I just think people get bored if I've put up too many of the same thing. I don't. I'm not going to lie, I love watching people's colouring book collections and I love watching huge, 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 huge ones. I do. I love watching the huge ones. Um, the long videos. And I also love watching it in parts. It's just that sometimes it's in parts it's harder to, to find. So let's do this door. So I wanted to get one out today on Christmas Eve, um, mainly so I could wish you all a very Merry Christmas. I hope you have a lovely day. Um, like I said, we're going to be finishing soon, but I will probably carry on with this in another one. I just don't want to do a long one. It's Christmas Eve, you've all got more important things to do than sit around watching me waffle on about, I don't know, various things. I'm still trying to get my whips down. That's why I wanted to do this one. Um, because this one's been hanging around for a year. And I've got ones that have been hanging around longer. Um, but I figure I'm going to really go for them in the new year, like I said. At the moment, I don't have a particular particular schedule so for instance people have they say they do Monday Wednesdays Fridays I just stick videos out when I've got something that's ready to go out so for instance this one yes this one is planned to go out on Tuesday which is Christmas Eve um, tonight today Christmas Eve but another time I may film two or three in one go and then stagger them especially if it's something like uh, a flip through. I may flip, film a flip through and not put it up for two or three months depending on what the book is if it's not something that's relevant to the month so and then it'll come a day where I've had a couple of days and I haven't posted anything because I've been too busy or I haven't had a chance to record and I think right, I'll stick that up I'll stick this up And part of the reason is I find it very difficult to commit to doing it on a specific day because normally it would mean filming the day before. So if I want to put it up Monday, Wednesday, Friday, that means I've got to film Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday. And it's not always possible. It depends on how I'm feeling, what else I've got to do, what time Paul goes to bed. And things like colouring chats and colouring catch-ups. I don't obviously want to film them so far in advance that it's not relevant anymore. So when we're talking, it's got to be fairly relevant to what what's going on in my life or what's going on in the world. There's no point in me filming something and then three weeks later putting it up and it being completely irrelevant. So. So at the moment, that's how I'm, I'm doing it. I'm just, just going to keep uh, filming in it ad hoc. Um, one day I may be able to turn around and say Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays. But at the moment, no. And then of course there's times of the month where you have extras. So when we do a haul or completed pages, something like that, or you know I'm gonna order some diamond paintings I might do an unboxing if you'd like to see that when I've got enough because um, I know which ones I'm gonna get and what they're for because they're all for various reasons and I just want to get them so that I can start working on them and then once I've done them they'll be ready for whatever reason so yeah I want to do some for Jennifer's room I want to do one for the living room 
got the dining room area where we are now. Don't we get this room done? I'm doing one for mum, I want to do another one for mum. I want to do one for me. The one for the dining room is really for Paul, but it's for both of us. But it's Paul's sort of thing more than mine. Although I do like the Beatles. So, you know, that's what I want to do. I want to... So there's going to be things like that. And of course, flip throughs, so... I'm not going to lie, I'm trying to build up my channel. I'm trying to get new subscribers. So again, to anybody who's new, thank you. It is appreciated. I love having you here. I love all the comments. I do read all the comments and I try and respond to them all. Um, because I think it's important. You, you've taken the time to leave me a message. I think it's important that I try and just be decent and respond to said message or even if it's just liking it and saying thank you because I do I really appreciate everybody that subscribes and I will admit that the majority of my watches aren't subscribed <laughs> so I, I totally get why I mean I watch things and I don't necessarily subscribe to them I've been watching a lot a lot a lot of diamond painting videos and I may have subscribed to one or two but I might watch five or six other people as well. If I find I like the person, then I probably will subscribe. But then I'll go through my subscription feed and I will get rid of people I no longer watch. So, and I'm sure that's what happens when I lose subscribers. It's not people being mean or having a go. It's because they think, oh, I don't watch that person anymore. They're not doing what I want, what they were doing. It's not what I'm interested in. So I used, I started off doing booktube and I loved it, but I just can't keep up buying books and reading. I just don't have the time. Even without the colouring, I don't have the time to sit and read the way I used to. Um, and it is because I've had Jennifer, and I'm not going to complain because I love her to bits and I would not be without her. But before I had Jennifer, I could read four or five books a week, if not more. Depending on how big the book was. So, because of that, you know, I, I stopped doing booktube in a sense. I still read and I still read as much as I can, but it's not as much as I used to. I wish it was. I wish I could still read as much as I, I used to. Because reading is one of my great pleasures. It really is. I love it. I love books. I'm currently reading, or trying to read, it's a big book. Um, Judy Garland in Life and uh, Art and Anecdote, which is by John Fricke, which is supposed to be, it's a really good book. It's a beautiful coffee table book with lots of beautiful photographs of of her in it. Um, and I'm trying to read that, and I always get books for Christmas and my birthday. And I've got books I had for Christmas and birthday a couple of years ago. I haven't read yet. And it's, it's not that I don't want to read them. I really, really do. But sometimes I've got to be in the mood for a specific book. And sometimes I might not be, you know. If I go to the hairdressers, I don't want anything too heavy. I want something light-hearted, a bit of a chick lit, or or maybe a thriller sometimes if I'm in that sort of mood. And that's one of the places I do most of my reading now. Sometimes instead of colouring, I'll sit on the sofa in the evening when, we've, when Paul's watching TV or we've got the TV on in the background and I'll try and read a bit. I'll listen to an audio book. As that Wednesday, I went to Bristol with my brother. I took him to Aztec West to see his pensions person. We go every, every December we go. I love it. It's a nice drive. Um, I go and sit in Starbucks and have a hot chocolate, a cup of tea and a cake. And he goes and does his thing. I sometimes, if it's a nice day, walk around the lake and take photographs. We've got a little pond there. It's really nice. Um, and I do that. 
this and you know I thought oh I can I can listen to an audiobook or if I want or I can watch a video and my original plan was to watch a couple of videos and then listen to my audiobook I'm currently listening to Terry Pratchett's Moving Pictures now I've read this book a hundred times but I'm listening to it because I can and uh, I would be enjoying it but I never got to listen to any of it because I was watching Anne from A Colour Life Colourful Life and her video was like over an hour long <laughs> so that took up my entire time in Starbucks and I'm not complaining because I really enjoyed her video it was brilliant so that's that bit so here we are so far with the Whimsy Girls Christmas now I don't know if there's going to be another colour in chat we've got some more wood to do at the top Let's use this dark one. Oh, I just lost one of my pencil sharpeners on the floor. Never panic, I've got some more. I'll pick that up in a minute. Um, I want to do more colour and chat before the end of the year. But I don't really want to do Christmas ones because Christmas will be over. I do have... Um, Camellia Angel Cobra's Winter Mandalas, so I might do that. And I have got some other wintry scene -y ones. I mean, obviously I've got a nice little Christmas, and they're not all Christmas scenes. Some of them are winter scenes, so maybe we can do something in that one. I don't know. I'll have a look for something that's not too Christmassy. Oh, Um, I will still be doing Christmassy ones though through the end of December because I want to finish all my whips and that does include this one and I feel like now I'm actually getting somewhere with it. It's these, I mean I don't mind the little intricate bits, I quite enjoy those. It's these great big expanses that I'm doing at the moment I get bored with. I'm just going to do this ceiling part I think. We'll do those as tiles is it, do you think we, it's, it's, you know it's a wooden ceiling so we will do it as wood we could do those tiles there we are and we'll have this nice one again um yeah so i do feel sometimes that these big expanses they, they're really off put in so. Getting these done is a real help. And the next big really expanse is the walls, which I think I'm going to do a pale blue. Like I said, I'm just basic colouring this. I'm not going for a lot of shades in. I am just enjoying the relaxation of it all. That's nice. Just having a little go at this, just putting some colour down looking good, it does look quite good now I, I think it's going to be easier to finish now we're now I've done these big background expanses, I've just got the wall to do and this beam here which I'm going to do in a very dark colour not black, but sort of grey warm grey We'll put a brown over the top if necessary. So, yeah, we've done about 30 minutes, so it's gone on longer than I was intending to. That's a nice colour to do in the first place, so. So like the other one, which I have now finished, I will finish this one off camera before the end of December. 
for you to see. I may come back and do Camellia. Is it, okay, is it Camellia? Angel Cover? Or something like that. Winter Mandanas. I might come and do one of those just for a quick catch up after Christmas. Um, so you can tell me, you can talk about how our Christmas day was, if we got any nice gifts, how we spent it. and so on and it'll be nice right I am just going to do a very very pale blue what colour is that? it's a bit too bright that one light colour up turquoise I think I'm going to go for this more sort of almost a sky isn't it? what colour is it? it is actually sky blue Just a nice colour. Just to give the wall. And then once I've done the wall, that's a nice colour actually, isn't that? Once I've done this wall, I have got a brush I can use and I just keep forgetting to bring it over. Just a makeup brush, but yeah, a nice colour. Just want to get it done, get all these big bits done, and then I can possibly just sit and finish this on the sofa or come over here. The only problem with these pencils is I've still got them in the tin. I haven't got a pencil case for them. It's something I need to get. <coughs> but I sort of like don't want to buy pencil cases because I'd rather buy books. Or more pencils, which is silly really. And I really do like polychrome, so I will have to get them. A a book and I have a, 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 a case and I need to replace one of the pencils too now the annoying thing is if I go to Hobbycraft in Newport I can get them there because well, they used to I don't know if they still do I hope they do to sell polychromos there open stock they're not cheap they're about £1.30 each I think but I don't mind paying that just to get the one because um, it's it's actually a nice green, it's a dark green, it's pine. Um, yeah, we'll just finish off this wall and we'll have a look at it and we'll call it a night. Because I've got to be honest, I want to go to bed soon. Because Santa's coming! Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right now Santa Claus lame. I only never know the first line of songs, so. And get out Elvis's Christmas album tomorrow, I think. And play that Christmas morning. I've got so many records to play, I really should play the rest of them, but. I like a bit of Elvis's Christmas album. I'm going to call that a night for tonight. So this is what we've done so far. Um, we've done all the background, which is great. Oh, except for I haven't I haven't done behind the toys, so we'll do that before we go. As you see, it's either going to be a bookcase or it's going to be wall. So I'm going to do it as wall. It's just shelves on the wall. That's one thing, at least the teddy bears and the cars and the jack-in-the-boxes and the balls and everything, all this can... I'm not really sure what that is, but they can all be the same 
same colour, which is good. <laughs> 